The truth is, most people in your life are going to hurt you. The question is, which ones are worth suffering for? That's why Meek Mill said, you want to cry on a Honda or on a Rolls Royce? Some people said, I'd rather not cry at all. But the reality is that we all got some type of issues that we are dealing with. And in our interactions with humans in this life, we're going to be hurt. And it's usually going to be people who are the closest to us, whether that's our parents, friends, or intimate relationships. See, because the thing is that people live their lives thinking about the fantasy of how the world should be and not how the world actually is. And one of the universal self-opinions is that people think that they are good people and nice you know, and decent. But the reality is that most people are struggling against their evil self. I'll read you something real quick. It says, and how is it that we hurt those we love, although we know that remorse will follow? Our whole being is nothing but a fight against the dark forces within ourselves. To live is to war with the trolls in the heart and the soul. And Islam teaches us, right, that the biggest battle that man, and when I say man, it's like man and woman, right? We'll have is the struggle against self, jihad al-nafs, right? The struggle against self, against your own wicked deeds, against your own evil thoughts. Most people think they're, they're, they're good, they're kind, they're nice. This is a universal self-thought, right? Most people are not walking around saying, you know what, I'm toxic, I'm, 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 you know, I got evil thoughts, um, you know, I got issues. Um, they don't do that. They always say, I'm nice, I'm kind. Even when situations happen to them, they blame somebody else. 95% of the men in prison are blaming somebody else for them being in prison. They're blaming the white man. They're blaming the, the, the conditions they was living in, the neighborhood, the, the parenting, the white man, police. They'll blame whoever they need to blame to make themselves feel better about where their own deeds have gotten them. Women do the same thing in relationships. 98% of women are constantly blaming the men. Oh, he was a narcissist, he was a this, he was a that, he was a, he used to gaslight, he was, like, it's never no self-accountability on both parts, and people in general, right? Um, and I think that's why, because people have this idea that they are good people, and they usually um, become victims when something happens. They're like, oh my God, it was, it was in my fault, it was, I swear, it was, like, they, this is how most people are, right? This is why... We don't really get to change um, who we are. And a lot of people are going to say, no, this is not true. But I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to leave you with this. When most people get upset, they always get some type of wicked thoughts in their mind. They always get some type of, even when people are hurt, pay attention. When people are hurt, they always thinking about, how can I cause some type of hurt? This is most people, right? When they're angry. They always thinking about how can I cause some pain? How can I just they they so that just shows and proves that there's something within all of us that is lying dormant, um, that we either hide, we try to conceal from people. Some people tap into their wickedness a little more than others, but that same wickedness lies in all of us. So I encourage you to tap into your your wicked side. And learn to deal with your demons. You don't get rid of your demons. You just learn how to control them and deal with them. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.